The scene, Thursday at the Fort Meade Exchange Food Court. The first customers in line at the newest restaurant, Qdoba. More on the grand opening in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, CYS is hiring. A preview of next week's Black History Month observance. And we'll check in with the Fort Meade Patriots. These stories and more, but first, the Fort Meade community seemed pretty excited about Thursday's grand opening of Qdoba at the Exchange Food Court. At one point, the line stretched from one end of the food court to the other. Fort Meade Garrison Commander and Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen joined exchange officials in a ribbon cutting ceremony. <laughs> On Wednesday, the day before the grand opening, the exchange went through a final run through and taste test. Today is a simulation event to give our, our team members, our crew, practice in front of the guest. So it's just a run through and we're going to sample the food out to, to everyone that's going to be here. Opening the Qdoba took several months and according to exchange officials, a big team effort. We're really excited to have Qdoba here. It was about a three month process, but um, everybody worked together, our whole team, uh, Fort Meade. We appreciate all the support from Fort Meade, all the entities, DPW, Command, um, all of our APHIS people from headquarters, our teams just did a fantastic job to get us to this point. Qdoba is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Sundays from 10 to 5. Elsewhere, Fort Meade Child and Youth Services is holding a job fair slash hiring event on Wednesday, February 28th. It takes place at the CYS School Age Center at 1900 Reese Road. We're hoping to find about 30 people to come and work for Child and Youth Services as direct caregivers, you know, working in the classrooms with children between the ages of six weeks old and 18 years of age. Uh, currently, CYS has some vacancies and we're also bolstering our program up for the summer day camp programs. CYS holds these events quarterly. Jamison says there's a constant need for caregivers. Yeah, our child care programs, uh, currently we have a, a wait list and we are always in search of new caregivers. Uh, unfortunately for child and youth services, um, there's a retention challenge insofar as many of our staff are uh, spouses. And so as folks uh, PCS from Fort Meade to other garrisons, we have to backfill them. Um, so we're always looking for new employees to work in child and youth services. Plus, you know, child care is a growing field. Um, so as staff come on board, we do all of our training on the job. Um, it's free training. And beyond the training available, we ask Jameson about the compensation. We do start at about $12.69 per hour for uh, an hourly rate, and I think it goes up to about $16 an hour. So we're, we're competitively priced in that way. You know, a lot of people might look at our job announcements and they get really fixated on the salary, the hourly rate. Um, while that is very attractive and we do that purposefully, obviously, you need to come into this job wanting to work with children. Once again, the hiring event is February 28th. Interviews and hiring will be done on the spot, but you must apply online before February 22nd at www.usajobs.gov. For more information on the CYS job fair, go to me.armymwr.com. In other news, the Armed Services Blood Program is staging a community blood drive for Fort Meade March 29th. Appointments are already taken and filled. Just go to www.militarydonor.com and search using the sponsor code FTMead. No space is there. Once again, the blood drive is Thursday, March 29th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the McGill Training Center. Meanwhile, February is Black History Month. The Defense Media Activity and the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office are hosting this year's observance on Wednesday, February 21st from 11.30 to 1 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is Dr. Betty Mosley brown the Associate Director of the VA Center for Women Veterans. She assists the VA Director in advising the Department of Veterans Affairs on programs and issues related to women veterans. Once again, Fort Meade's Black History Month observance is February 21st at 11.30 at Club Mead. Turning to sports, after opening the season with two conference losses, the Fort Meade Patriots varsity basketball team have even their record at 2-2. Two and two. They got their second win last Saturday, defeating Joint Base Andrews 74-66 at Murphy Fieldhouse. Kenise Langford led all scorers with 15 points. Tyler Francis scored 12. Brian McGee Coleman and Brian Burns chipped in with 11 each. We talked to Coleman and Burns after the game, who wanted to talk more about the Patriot defense. Yeah, I thought the defense did real good um, with rotations in the 2-3 we was in and also in the man. Uh, we talked a lot, we got a lot of deflections, a lot of uh, uh, defensive rebounds, and we pushed the ball. We're kind of young, so we make bonehead mistakes at times, but we stay together, which is like a growing pain for us, but we can better each game, so I like where we're going. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.